All right, hey everybody, it's uh, Damer and Mac here for OCR Kings, and tonight we're going to do a breakdown of Olympus. Uh, it turns out that it's, I think, one of our favorites now. It's, from, yeah, from least favorite. From least favorite? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. And so now we, we dig Olympus, and we've got two strategies that uh, are pretty successful for us, I think. Yep, I think the, the first time we saw Olympus, I mean, was it at New Jersey? It was, was at Jersey, the, yeah. Jersey, and it was... Pretty, was it was the, that April, pretty chilly. Ultra beast back in the day, yeah, as it was and, called. And uh, had, had a tough time, tough go. Didn't enjoy it. <laughs> had no technique down. No, so never saw it before. So I was like, what the hell is this thing? So now we've got some, uh, some coping skills. And again, these are not, you know, law. It's like, do it our way. We're the best. Blah. You know, the, we're not going to yell at anybody for improper technique. You know, we don't have a clipboard. We don't have a dry erase marker. Okay. It, it, it works for us. It works for us. If you want to try them, you want to check them out. And in right. fact, our two techniques are slightly different. Right. So even right off the bat, uh, we tend to disagree, but we both get the job done. Right. So let's, uh, let's check out Olympus. Right. So here comes Damer. He's uh, coming into the frame here. Yeah, we both step up. I mean, one thing we do agree upon is chains. Don't touch them. No chains. Because I yeah. just, just don't like the chains. So oh. I like to get the hands as high as possible. And I'm one of those guys that puts the feet up and butt out. So get the feet up real high. Do like a little hop step as I'm transitioning my hands. All right, here's your and hands. here close. we just, yep, switch into the POV for me. And you bring up a good point, too. Stay as high as you can. You know, you dip down for that one hole. And go through that quick. It was like, go through that quick and get right back up high, high, feet high. And it was like, if yep. You, if you can go across the top and do as much as you can to keep your hands sort of level, if you will. Yeah, right. It's just that reaching down to one of those holes really brings your whole weight down there. Okay. So we both agree, no chains. Um, he uses his feet. Here we'll see mine. I do a little bit differently. I'm worried about my feet slipping off. Here I am. I put my knees and my shins to the deck. Yeah, so it just like creates a, a little bit more, yeah, just like more, just... more drag. Yeah. I think I grabbed that lower hole right there. You saw me dip. Yep. Yeah. And there are my hands. So I'm, I'm getting into sync with uh, Damer's technique going across the, the top part. Yeah, so you keep your body yeah. up high, keep your hands up high. And it was like, if you have to grab down low, I try to get, get through that quick. It was like, there, you just reached over. Right. And For you, anybody who doesn't know who's never encountered this before, you cannot touch the top edge. You, you just can't do that. So um, one other secret technique that we have. It's not really a secret. It's pretty self-explanatory, and I'm sure other people have thought of it, but not before we did. So, mm, <laughs> just kidding. All right, check out the boards here. Damer's coming into frame, and he steps up. Let's rewind a little bit. We'll go back. Okay, look at the the topography, the ground, and the boards. Yeah, okay. some, some of them have more lean than others, so it's right. like take a. You can take a little peak before you even start and right. say you know what this one looks like it has a little bit more lean or it's leaning too much and too steep i'm going to avoid that one so it really depends because it's not a perfectly level spot where they're right. setting this whole obstacle up right so go if you can take a second and look down the lanes of how these things are set up and if you see the ground is sloping in a certain direction pick a board that slopes <laughs> into yeah. the hill meaning you're not going to be pulled away from it if you're on this side and the ground is sloping down your butt and your weight is going to be more apt to be pulled off the obstacle a tiny we're kind of like leaning yeah. into it a little bit more so he's picked a lane where it's kind of uh he his chest is leaning into the way the board is going to be leaning and it just makes it slightly easier I did it the opposite way at the end of the uh, Jersey Super in the Nor'easter. I was in a rush, my calves were killing me, and I did. I picked a side that was leaning downhill. Yeah, it's, okay. it's probably You want to be on the uphill side. That's what I was trying to articulate. <laughs> Good for me. i will grown up and doing the town. I'm going to go get my shine box now. So pick the uphill side rather than the downhill side. Gravity will give you a little assist there.
So back to me. Yep. Using the Let knees, me. taking my time. Yep, I can even see like your shoulder position was just nice and high. You weren't like dropping down and right. going up and trying to pull yourself. Our arms are nice and locked and just just going. It's like real, so, real, real nice technique. This, you know, uh, this should be a gimme, I think, for a lot of people at this point. So you just stick up high, avoid the chains, pick if you're going to put your feet to the deck. If you're going to put your feet to the deck, what do you do? Get them, get them up as high as get possible. And it was like definitely up, up, like they've got the Spartan paint right there in right. the middle of the boards. It was like get your feet as high up on on a so Spartan yeah, okay. warrior's face as possible. And you can, you can see it. I mean, it's it's pretty high, but the higher your feet go, I think the better off you are, the right? Better off, and I think it, it, I think you could see my feet slip a little bit. Well, the thing is, muddy as hell. Yeah. Like, that's, it's, and I think the know. higher your feet are, it's like like that. Like my left foot's up higher up than my higher right. Higher than the uh, the eyes of the Spartan logo. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So aim for the text. If it says yeah. Spartan race, that's that's, that's your that's your that's line. You want your feet. Yep. Perfect. Okay, and for me, I try to keep my knees as close to my elbows as possible. Like, in fact, your knees are even higher. Yep. yep. Hey, right. hey, your knees are clearly above the, the Spartan race text right there. I think I grabbed the lower one. You see that little slip? Yep. And now I'm going I think you've got a better hand technique. Because if you saw mine, I was going like this, and then I, like, reach down. Hey, man, whatever and works. Up, and it was like, yours were definitely, like, just stayed right along the top, which is... It just looks smoother. It's cool. We're used to those Walmart grips by now. Yeah. Got some of those in the basement. We'll be building this thing, too. Still having... Yeah, those absolute outdoor <laughs> kitty playset set <laughs> right. handholds. 50 for like $12. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, feet to the deck or knees and shins. Hands up high. Your, bring your lower half up. Try to aim for the text or above or as, as high as you can go. And uh, use the uphill advantage, and I think uh, you'll have a lot of yeah, success good with technique. The, the only other thing I can recommend is some people like to go right to left, kind of reach out with your left and right, and some may want to go the other way. So True. And just figure out what would be more comfortable in the direction you move. I like to reach out with my left and then hold most of my with body weight hand. with my strong hand. So it's like reaching out, it's like hold the weight, recover. It was like, but you may want to go the other way, so that's that's one last thing to think about. I've done it both ways, leading left yep. and leading right, but I, always I go for the uphill advantage. Yes. Just to keep my weight I going agree. into yep. the opposite I think that, direction. That, that, would definitely, pulled away. that would definitely pick my line over having to go left or right leading. So, so that's been uh, Olympus. Those are our tips. I hope uh, they're helpful for somebody. If anybody else has another method, Please feel free to leave a comment. Just don't be a jerk about it. Okay? <laughs> we want to keep the conversation going we'll and try keep it, it positive. Yeah, all right? Cool. So, uh, you know, this has been Damer and Mac for OCR Kings and reminding you, as always, train hard. Have fun.